Hi guys, Jamie with Simplicity by JME and today I thought we would do a small Hobby Lobby haul. Okay, so yesterday or Tuesday the 31st we went to Hobby Lobby to pick up a few skeins of yarn that I needed for projects and this is partially because I've decided I'm going to change almost exclusively to I love this yarn yarn bees and a few others that they carry my local Walmart pretty much only carries a few things done by Lions brand which I love hometown USA I am in all with um, I love Woolies. That being said, I am apparently allergic to wool. So while I do have some, I actually have to load up on Benadryl and wear gloves to work with it. So that's going to be used far and few between in my shop. Um, Red Heart Super Saver, I'm not a fan of. And this is what I'm going to change out with... Um, the I love the yarn, so we'll see. But let's go ahead and get to the haul, okay, guys? Catch you inside. All right, guys. So before we get to the actual haul part of this video, I'm going to apologize for the excess noise and the bad lighting and focus because, like I said in yesterday's video, I'm currently changing a few things on my setup. So, let's get started, I guess. First things first, with this haul, we're going to do everything but the yarn, okay? So, at Hobby Lobby, I picked up these cute little gingerbread men cookie cutters, and I'm going to use the larger size as a stencil, okay? Maybe the medium size, but definitely the larger size. This will be used in a project that will be included in Saturday's mini restock okay at least the bigger size so with that I also ended up needing these uh, come on focus baby well anyway these are Soology marking pencils that I can use to actually outline the project I'm stenciling onto so I can cut it out and see it um, then I picked out this little thimble because when I was sewing on a part of one of the other items that'll end up being in the shop, I kept stabbing myself with the yarn needle. So this should help and save my hands. But while I was there, I found and picked out some of these Yarnology Luxury Crochet Hooks. Um, the blue one is a size L and the pink one is a size M. These are two sizes that I do not currently have or did not have, but they're also plastic. So I don't know how I'm going to like them, but if you look on the side, they have these cute little flowered detailings. So I will probably do a review of these coming up sometime soon. All right. Now. The reason for going to Hobby Lobby in the first place was to pick up these nine skeins of yarn right here. Okay, so what I have, we have two sets of the white, two sets of Greybeard, soft blue, cranberry, coffee, and soft pink okay now what I did was I bought one skein for each of the initial projects that they will be used in okay so like the soft pink the red and the coffee are going to be used together the soft pink the white and the gray are going to be used together the white the gray and the soft blue are going to be used together and then I have another one but I already had the yarn so it's not included in this but these are the reason for going and these are what I'm replacing my super saver with very gradually but this is what we're doing now just for fun I picked up a couple of yarn bee brand 
This is Glowing Purple Multi. And I just thought this would be a fun color way to work with. Um, I don't really have a project in mind, but I might. So we'll have to see. Then I have this right here, the Yarn Bee Wild Streak Brights. And it's just a fun roving style yarn. Um, kind of like the Lions Brand Landscapes that I just used when I was testing that project. That shall rename, remain nameless for right now. But um, this is fun to work with and the colors are kind of cool. So we'll see how those come out as we go. Now, I did pick up a few other things other places. Uh, did have to go to Walmart and I picked up an all on clearance. Um, this way I can poke holes in the fabric that I sometimes crochet into. So without having to force my way and potentially stab myself. Um, I also picked up your, more yarn needles. I'm always losing these and I literally just lost one like Saturday, Sunday. So I tend to try to keep at least two packs on hand. And then I picked up this crocheted stitch guide because I am looking for a certain stitch book and I'm not finding it and I'm not finding the stitch I want, but I thought this might give me ideas on what to use for my tutorial Tuesdays. So I'll be using this and this, the Ultimate Crochet Bible by Jane Crowfoot. This will be used also. Now I bought this one at Barnes and Nobles and I have another one coming up that I have ordered, but that's it guys. Um, that's the haul for yesterday. Tuesday, the 31st of January, and like I said, I'll be doing a review of these hooks, and hopefully you guys will get to see everything in this project coming up, but that's it guys, so have a wonderful day, and I will catch you on Sunday, bye guys. In the description box below, you will find links to our Facebook page, our shop, and our blog, where you can find details and information about what we are currently up to. Check out our other videos to see what we currently have going on. Also, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to email us. The address is in the description box below. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.